During the next five weeks, I'm going to be showing you a series of exercises that you can do at home with no equipment at all. In fact, I'm going to be demonstrating them right here in my bedroom. These exercises are going to teach you five skills necessary for a good golf swing. Ready to get started? Let's go. The following exercise is a forearm plank and it is a great way to learn how to stabilize your core during the golf swing. We're going to start by putting our forearms down on the ground and bending your elbows at a 90 degree angle. Move your body back so that all of your weight is on your knees and your forearms. From here, make sure that there is a straight line from your head to your knees. That means that your hips shouldn't be hiked up or sagging down. Remember to keep that straight line. If this is too easy, go on your toes, but remember to do the same. Keep that straight line from your head to your toes. During this position, your tailbone should be tucked, your abs should be engaged, and you should feel no discomfort at all in your lower back. The following exercise is a glute bridge and it's a great way to activate the most important muscle in golf, the glutes. You're going to start by laying on your back with your knees bent like shown. From here, you're going to push through your heels and elevate your hips as far as you can go. At the top of the movement, squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone in, and hold it for a second or two. Make sure that you are pushing through your heels so that the glutes get to do most of the work as opposed to the top of the leg. And make sure that your hips are nice and even throughout the whole movement. The following exercise is an open book, which is a great way to stretch the tight muscles of your upper back for better golf swing shoulder turn. Start by laying on your side with your bottom leg completely straight and your top leg bent at a 90 degree angle, always applying pressure towards a cushion on the ground. Take your arms, stack them on top of each other, and from here, you're going to start rotating your upper body and ribcage and arm towards the opposite side of the room. Eventually, you want your upper shoulder to reach the ground on the opposite side. You're gonna feel a deep stretch in your upper back. The following exercise is an active figure four stretch, which is a great way to stretch those tight hip muscles for a better golf swing hip turn. Lay on your back and take one of your legs and cross it over the other. Here in this position, you're going to take this knee and you're going to press it towards that side of the room and hold that position from 10 to 20 seconds. Right now, I am holding that position and feeling a deep stretch in my hip and my glute. Once you're done with one side, repeat on the opposite side. The following exercise is a seated torso rotation, and it's going to teach you how to move your upper and lower body separately for better golf swing sequence. You're going to need a chair that doesn't move and a cushion, which you're going to put in between your legs and press it hard with your thighs. Once you're in this position, put your hands on your chest, and from here, you're going to start rotating as far as you can to the right, and then as far as you can in the opposite direction. Throughout this whole movement, try to keep your lower body as stable as possible. You're going to feel a deep stretch in your upper back. 